Something and me not trust the atoms, them to lie, they make up everything. Me know one day we are go fly, and that is so uplifting. All of my love and my sanity, vanity Told me I'm too hard to handle This man will win the opposition, quit playing with me Brothers hella lame, how they get their name Israelites lacking integrity Politics made it to Israel, no brothers not spiritual I cannot let them get next to me Chef in the kitchen, he cooking, he cooking, he cooking These niggas trying to steal a recipe Look at my weaponry, that is my specialty Lion as I and a Judah, full pedigree Repping my legacy, if I got a body Rappers then Mike, he gon' be the accessory Judah the gang and I'm repping their heavily Vocals the same, but I got a new melody I'm from the bottom of Rebel to Grepper Street Haters, they hate me, they really be repping me Talk to him. How you, how you talk to the Most High? Huh? Going to church? Nah. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. We're gonna show you how you talk to the Most High. How you seek His face. How you get to know Him. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, and verse 16. Bring, Bring it out. out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High God and read. You have to go to this book. That's how you spend time with the Most High. That's how you get that relationship with the Most High. Right. That's how you get to know what he likes, what he don't like, what to do, what not to do. Right? Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. Nothing in this scripture that the Most High wrote down or ordained will fail ever. Read that again. No one of these shall fail. It won't fail. Go ahead. None shall want her mate. Go ahead. From my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. Come on. Give me um second chronicles. Matter of fact, first chronicles 16 11. So that's how you seek the most high. That's how you spend time with the most high, brother. This word, you gotta get in the word. Let me ask you a question. Where your father from? Where you from? Is it here? Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, I'll praise it. So you get that sound up? You will come over here right quick. So you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. West Indian. Yeah, yeah. That's your true hey, nationality. Yeah. That's your true heritage. That's what God called you. You an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. You're not a nigga. You're not a nobody. You're not a speak. You are royalty, brother. Uh, right, right. You're a king on the earth. If you ain't know before, you, you know, you're gonna know today. Come on, bring that out. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 16 and verse 11. Bring it out. Seek the most high and his strength. Seek his face continually. You must seek the most high's face continually. Every day, brother, day in and day out. Continually, non-stopping. Because you have an enemy. Right. And he wants to destroy you. He ain't sparing you. He ain't taking no breaks. That's why it says we got to be on our job continually because our enemies are on their job continually, brother. Right, right. Go ahead, keep going. Five. Remember his marvelous works. We got to remember. But how to remember if we don't go through the history books? Right. This is our heritage. This is our history. We got to read it, brother. Go ahead. There you go. That he have done his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Yeah, because everything throughout history pertaining to our people from Genesis to Revelation is in this book. This is the only book we need because it was given to us by the Most High. So follow, keep, and understand. 
So let me ask you a question. If you don't know, it's okay. I'm a, we're gonna get we're gonna get you through it. How do you get the kingdom of heaven? If you don't know, it's alright. But take just let me know what you think. I guess you gotta do right all the time. Okay, that's that's true. But how do you do right? According to the Bible and what the most high. Uh, Okay. What well, whose rules? rules? Okay, I'll praise this. Give me um Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. You believe in Christ, right? Okay, so now we're gonna find out what Christ said, how you get life and you get the kingdom of heaven. Bring it out. Hold on, hold on. Let's wait for the for the demons pass by. Chapter 19 and verse 16. Bring it on. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So one of our fellow brothers of Israel like, came to Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords, and asked him, What good thing or right thing as you said that I should do to get the kingdom of heaven? Go ahead. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Uh huh. There is none good but one that is God. Only God is good. Go ahead. But if thou would enter into life, but if you are enter into life, the kingdom of heaven, eternal life, is something you got to do. Go ahead. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep, keep the, the commandments. Do what? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. We got to keep the commandments, brother. We can't follow the ways of the other nations. We are a special chosen people. You ever heard that saying, to whom much is given, much is required? So we're held to a higher standard. Give me MO3 and one right quick. You know what I mean? We get punished for our sins. Yes, they're going to get their judgment too, but we the one that go from captivity to captivity to captivity. Because we should know better. We should do better. Go ahead. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. out. Hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you, uh -huh. O children of Israel. Against who? O children, children of Israel. Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family. Against the whole 12 tribes on this chart. The whole family, go ahead. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Uh huh. You only have I known. You only have I known. The Most High only knows us. Yes, He created everybody, but He only deals with the 12 tribes. Since the beginning of time, these people, that's the nation you come from, go ahead. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh huh. Therefore, I will punish you. For all your iniquity. Another word for iniquity is sin. He said, because he only knew us. When we sin, we get our judgment. You know what I mean? And I'm going to give you a few commandments that you can start keeping now, brother. Give me Leviticus 21, verse 5. You're keeping one already. You have a beard on your face. You probably ain't know that's a commandment. We're still going to bring it out, though, for the edification part. Go the ahead. book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring, Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. You can't have a bald head, brother. Our people cannot shave off their hair bald. If you forehead bald, you're clean. But you cannot shave it like Michael Jordan right. or Tyrese. That's unclean. Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You cannot shave off the corner of your beard. You can get a trim. You can line it up. You know what I'm saying? The most I ain't saying look like a bum out here. But you can't shave it off. You feel me? Go ahead. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. No tattoos. You cannot get no tattoos. No, no. Now, if you already got one, that's all right. But once you get that knowledge and understanding, you cannot get any more, brother. You cannot get any more. Because now you know better. And once you know better, now you got to do better. So drop that. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you eat pork? Give me that, Leviticus 11 and 7. See, the Most High don't only give us how we should live and operate. He give us a, what we should eat. And it's, and it's for our benefit. Go ahead, bring it out, Captain. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring, bring it out. out. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. Swine is another word for pig or pork. Go ahead. So he divides the hoof and feed cloven footed. Uh-huh. Yet he cheweth not the cub. Uh-huh. He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. That's unclean to you, brother. Do you know a pig eats his own feces, bro? And what they say, you are what you eat. 
A pig doesn't sweat, so it don't release no toxins. That's why our people sick. Because we eat unclean. So you gotta come up out of that, brother. What about shrimp, crab, lobster, eat that? Bring that out. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse nine. Bring it out. Ye shall ye eat of all that are in the water. So the most I gonna tell you first what you can eat, which is good to eat from the water, go ahead. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters and the seas uh -huh. and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Snapper, grouper, salmon, go ahead. And all that have not fins and scales, shrimp, crab, lobster, oysters, in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, uh -huh. and of any living thing which is in the waters, uh -huh. they shall be an abomination unto you. Abomination is something filthy, right. disgusting. You should not be eating a cockroach of the sea, brother, because they, those, those are bottom feeders. We have land cockroaches and we have sea ocean cockroaches. They was made good for their purpose, but those things was not made to be eaten. Right. You know what I mean? They're garbage cleaners. Go ahead. Con. All right, give me, um, let me ask you a question. Do you smoke? Okay, I'll say it. Give me number 1538. We're going to get another commandment that you can start keeping. You see all uh, me and my brothers, how we have these on our shirt? The fringe is called fringes. These are also commandments that the Most High gave us. And everything has its purpose. It's the reason why we wear these things. Go ahead. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring, Bring it out. out. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them. Speak to the children of who? Speak unto the, the children, children of, of Israel. Israel. There, time and time again, he's talking to the Israelites. He's talking to us. Go ahead. And bid them. And command them. That they make them fringes and the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generation. Forever and ever. Throughout their generation. Forever and ever. Throughout, throughout their, their generation. Go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Go ahead. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So every time we see we got on our fringes as we go about our days, our lives, it's a reminder, man, I can't do what everybody else do. I gotta keep the ways of the most high. I'm not like everybody else. You're separate and people notice that, but it ain't about people. It's about pleasing your heavenly father. Right. To hell with anybody gotta say. You know what I mean? So that's the purpose why we wear them. Everything is for a reason. So let me ask you a question. Based on what you just learned, what's your nationality? According to what you just learned, yeah. Benjamin. Benjamin. I'm a crazy. You are Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's who you are. God never called us Jamaican. God never called us Haitian. God never called us African American. That's two right. white men. You don't. I have a precept. Con. You don't come from two white men. You come from two white men. I ain't think so, brother. Right. But we got to come back to this knowledge and understanding. Go ahead. What, what, what's Romans eleven and one? I'm talking about Paul being a Jamaican. Con. Give, give me Romans eleven and one. Bring that out. The Book of Romans, chapter eleven and verse one. Bring it out. I say then, have God cast away his people? Did God cast away the 12 tribes of Israel? Uh -uh. God forbid. God forbid, that means hell no. For I also am an Israelite uh -huh. of the seed of Abraham, uh -huh. of the tribe of Benjamin. See, that's another brother from your tribe. Right. Tribe of Benjamin, brother. That's royalty, yeah, West Indian. So what you must do to, keep, to get the uh, kingdom of heaven? According to what we just read. And what is good according to the Bible? What we read in Matthew 19, 16. Keep the commandments, brother. You gotta keep the commandments. He was in um 10 and 12. Yeah, all the rules in the scripture. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 
chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now Israel. Now Israel, again, the 12 tribes of Israel. Go ahead. What do the Lord thy God require of what, thee? What does the Most High God require of us? Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to do what? But, but to, to fear, fear the, the Lord, Lord thy God. God. Go ahead. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of to the do, Most High. To do what? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of, of the, the Most, Most High. High. It all falls back to the commandments of the Most High, brother. We have to keep the commandments. That's the first step. And we must continue in the commandments. You say you believe on Christ, right? What color is Christ? Huh? All praises. How did you know he was black? Okay, okay. <laughs> Just bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Give me Revelation 1. Yeah. Uh, out of five, out of right, there you go. There you go. And we can prove it, not on what we say though, but according to the most high's word. Right, right. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Matter of fact, hold that right quick. Give me first Matthew 3, 48. Because you just said something heavy. Mm -hmm. right. They took our images and they switched it. They made them white. Mm -hmm. Christ is a black man. The prophets are black. God is black. The angels are black. But these devils stole everything from us and lied about who we are. Right, and right. they teach our people lies and lies and lies. None of that stuff, bro. We, and we're going to get that. Go ahead, bring that up. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. Bring it out. And lay open the book of the law. Uh-huh. Wherein the heathen. Wherein the heathen, the other nations, go ahead. Had sought to paint the likeness of their had images. Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They took the black Messiah, the black king, and painted him white. Come right. Christ is not white. Come He is a black man. Right. Go ahead. Right. That was it. Come So now we're going to get uh, Revelation 1 and 1. Book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring Everybody, it out. Everybody say they believe in the Bible. We're going to see what the Bible says about Christ's color. Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Bring it out. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. Go ahead. And he sent and signified by his angels unto his servant John. Go ahead. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. So John saw all these things, and he's gonna tell you what he saw. Uh, jump to verse uh, 13. Verse 13. Con. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Uh-huh, you listening, brother? Now they finna give you the description of Christ. Go ahead. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man. Bring it out. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the pap with a golden girdle. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His hairs and his hairs was what? White, white like, like wool. wool. Who got woolly hair on the earth today, brother? What nation is this? Got woolly hair. Come on, it's easy. You got it? You said it earlier. Which people got woolly hair? Christ has woolly hair. Black people, there you go. Go ahead. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Go ahead. And his feet. His feet. Your feet match your whole body, right? Go ahead. Like yeah, unto fine brass. brass. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown, right? There you go. Go ahead. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they what? Burn, burn in, in a furnace. furnace. You burn anything in the oven, what color does it become? Black. Black. Dark skin. Christ was a very dark skin man, brother. Right. Uh. Very dark skin, brother. Go ahead. And his voice has the sound of many waters. Come. Give me um four verse one. So now you know you're an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. You know you can't eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Not according to what we say, right? According to what your heavenly Father says. Because all these brothers used to stand up here, we all was into something before we came into the truth. But we had to change. It don't happen overnight, but you got to make that step, bro. Yeah, discipline. 
Go ahead. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High God. Go ahead. And the law that endure forever. This law ain't going nowhere, bro. So my, the best thing you can do is get with it. Because if you don't get with it, go ahead. All they that keep it uh -huh. shall come to life. If you keep it, you're going to come to life. You want life, right? Go ahead. But such as leave it but shall die. Whoever leaves this and want to do their own thing and follow the ways of the world, they're going to die. They're going to die. You don't want death, right? So what you have to do? Exactly. Uh, All praises. All praises. Uh, Go ahead. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Take hold of this knowledge. Take hold of this understanding. Take hold of the most high ways. Go ahead. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. Uh-huh. That thou mayest be illuminated. Yeah. What is that light? The word. Yeah, get that, get that, get that, get that. We're gonna tell you, thus says the most high, what is that light? Because what does a light do? It guides you. It shines. Right? It shows you which way to go, which way not to go. Right? Go ahead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it out. For the commandment is a lamp. For the commandments is a what? Is a, a lamp. lamp. It's a lamp, brother. You need a lamp to see where to go in this life. Right. Because it's sin everywhere. Our enemies are all around us. You know what I'm saying? Their job is to try to keep us in sin. Our job is to serve the most high, bro. You have to pick a side. You can't be lukewarm. But I'm going to be honest with you. When you leave here, Satan going to come in your ear, bro. Oh, I don't listen to them boys, man. They just talking. They don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be constricted. Because a lot of our people use that word. The commandments, y'all constricted. Y'all can't do this. Y'all can't do that. But in reality, the Most High is protecting us from evil. But they look at it as constraint. It's gonna happen, bro. And I'm and I'm just forewarning you, because that's our job to warn our people. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Right. And the law is light. And the law is light. It's not darkness. It's light. Would you rather light or darkness? So you gotta keep these commandments, bro. You gotta get that understanding more, and there's more to learn, bro. These are just the basics. Go ahead, go ahead, bring it out, Captain. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 8. Bring, bring it out. out. For ye were sometimes darkness. For ye were sometimes darkness. Go ahead. But now are ye light in the Lord. But now are ye light, brother. You didn't pass by here tonight for no reason, bro. It's all glory to the most high. We just the messengers, bro. Right. But you stop and you listen in. So now the light and the, and the truth has been revealed to you. I'll praise to the most high. Go ahead. Walk as children of light. Now you got to walk it, bro. You can't just hear it. You can't just talk to it. Hey, yeah, I'm an Israelite. I found out tonight. I'm royalty. What you going to do about it? You going to come stand with us? You going to come stand for your, with your people? Okay, go ahead. Now, go ahead. The book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 13. Bring it out. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. For not the hearers of the law are just before the Most High. Just because you hear it, that don't make you justified before him. Go ahead. But the doers. But the what? But, but the, the doers. doers. The doers. You got to show action, brother. Because everybody talk a good game. It sounds beautiful. Exactly. You got to stand on what you say. You know what I mean? Go ahead. But the doers of the law shall be justified. But the doers, the ones who take action, the ones who apply this knowledge. Because a lot of people say, man, knowledge is power. No. Applied knowledge is power. You can know something, but you don't do nothing about it. It's vain. You know what I mean? It don't make sense at all. You know what I mean? So like I said, bro, you know you're Israelite. You know what you cannot eat. 
you know that you have to give oranges, you have to keep the commandments to get the kingdom of heaven. You know you gotta seek the most high faith. This is right. Like you said in the beginning when you first came up, what is right, this is right. The law said is the commandments. You have to follow this. This is that light that you need, that we all need. This is that medicine. Go ahead. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh-huh. Fear God. Uh-huh. And keep his commandments. And do what? And, and keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. We must fear the most high God and keep his commandments. That's our purpose in this life. That's why we was put on the earth to keep the commandments. Regardless of what other endeavors we do, the number one reason why we was put on this earth was to serve the heavenly father and be a representation of him on the earth. Shalom, shalom, family. This is your brother, Captain Asaf. Listen, if you are in the Miami, Florida area and you would like to do the work of the Most High, send us an email to lozmdc12 at gmail.com or you can contact us via Instagram at the LOZ Miami. Shalom.